guys and girls, what's up? It's Daezo and welcome back to another video. When switching editors, it is really hard at first as you are very used to other editors that you were previously using. Most of the time, the problem that people have when switching to Adobe Premiere Pro is that the render and export settings have very different names and you don't know what the effects are called. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the basics when switching from Vegas to Premiere. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to help this channel grow because all help is appreciated. Follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I'd like to tweet out daily. Other than that, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I'm going to say is that don't worry too much about the effects as I'm still learning the effects and I've been using and experimenting with them for a good 3 months now. The only effects you should really be worrying about are the video and audio transitions as they are really useful when making videos. My personal favorite video transition is Dip to Black, and my favorite audio transition is Exponential Fade, as they are very basic but work really, really well. So to do these effects, all you have to do is go into the effects panel up the top, and then you can either type in Exponential Fade or Dip to Black. Or you can find them under Audio Transition or Video Transition, depending on which one you are using. The most important feature of editing is being able to cut each part in case you make a mistake. On Premiere, it's really simple. On the left hand side, right next to all your clips, are a bunch of different tools. But anyways, you want to click on the razor tool. From there, all you need to do is click on the position that you want to cut and then your clip will be split in two. The fourth tip is Lumetri Color. So this is not an issue for anyone that doesn't do with many colors in their edits, but for you guys that do, all you need to do is go into the Lumetri Colors panel and you can do a few things in here. But the main thing I mess around with is the saturation. The reason for this is because the more saturated the clip is, the more bright and colorful the clip looks. And the less saturated it looks, the more black and white it looks. Text is really easy and simple to use. All you need to do is go into the top in File, click New, and go down to Text. In the text you have many options such as the ellipse tool, the rectangle tool, and more, but the main thing you guys are going to be using is the text tool. So just click on the T and start typing. When you're finished typing, you can right click on the text and click positioning, and vertical center and horizontal center. That will make your text in the center of the video. After that, you can mess around with the size of it and even add drop shadows to your text, which is pretty cool. The last thing is the exporting aspect of Premiere Pro. So the export is really easy. All you have to do is hit file and export. For YouTubers, this is really simple, because all you have to do is go into the export settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then hit YouTube 1080p, 720p, or 4K, depending on the quality of your video. Then you want to go where the FPS is. In here, I suggest making it 60 FPS, but 30 FPS is fine. Anything below that will look choppy. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to help this YouTube channel grow, and follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I like to tweet out daily. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I really hope that it helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one.